Hi, I'm Scott Gordon, Cal State University, Sacramento, and I'm going to show you a stereoscopic tracking system built out of a pair of V1KU neural network boards and some other off-the-shelf parts. The V1KU board is inside of this metal housing, so you can't really see it. It includes a small camera and a Cognomem neural net chip that is capable of learning patterns coming in from the camera. I have two of them here. They're each attached with the rubber bands and Velcro to a couple of uh, off-the-shelf servo motors. The servo motors are hooked up to this uh, fidget servo controller, and all of these are hooked up by USB to my laptop. Now this is just a prototype, so I understand it looks a little comical with all the Velcro and the rubber bands, but in any case, the uh, V1K use uh, software development kit uh, includes a DLL for C-sharp.net, so uh, I have an application here that I put together in C-sharp. The application shows you the images coming in from the cameras, gives you some control over specifying the region you want it to learn uh, or unlearn, and it can also do triangulation once it's actually tracking the object that is learned. Unlike some other current technologies like the Xbox Connect, the V1KU doesn't use structured light or any other trick like that. It goes purely off the image coming in, so anything it's capable of seeing, it's theoretically capable of tracking. The first thing that I need to do is have the V1KU learn the object that I want it to track, and that's what this little box is here that I'm going to surround the object that I want to track. Now I need something to track, so I drew a smiley face on this book, and I figure we'll track that. Now I'm going to use continuous learning so that it learns the smiley face from a variety of angles. As you can see, it took 37 neurons to learn all those angles of the smiley face, and so I'm going to copy those 37 neurons to the other V1KU. Now both of the V1KUs have the 37 neurons, and so we're ready to track. I'm going to position each V1KU near the smiley face and tell it to go ahead and track. You can see it's already doing the triangulation. The V1KU is pretty good at discerning the learned object from background objects. The servos handle the side-to-side -side movement. In the future, we'll add a third servo for the vertical movement. Well, I'm sure you can see that there's a lot of room for improvement. It wobbles around a bit, but uh, it's a first step.